It's Tuesday, October 1st, 2013. Welcome, my name's Dez, and the U.S. government is partially shut down. All right. So, we have the markets up. Bullish territory. People are wondering, why did we go bullish? It's because it was technically set up. We'll talk about that here momentarily. But the S&P up 0.8%. Really nice. Knock at the door at 1,700. The Dow up 0.4%, over 15,000. NASDAQ up 1.23%, about the same for small caps here on the Russells. Nice rally in NASDAQ and small caps. Boom, boom, boom. Banks supporting that rally up 1.2%. VIX also confirming today's rally down 6.4% now at 15.5. A massive correction in precious metals. I was looking to buy gold today until I saw what happened. I stayed off the tracks. That oncoming train was looking nasty. Gold off by 2.8%. Silver off by 2.3%. Crude oil off about a half a percent with the U.S. dollar down a mere fraction. You'll see here utilities, the sector here, defensive sector, up 0.4%. Transportation index up largely, up 1.4%, with the Dow only up 04 giving a lot of support to this bullish run gang. Yesterday we talked about a nice bull pullback. Talked about how I had some longs. I was adding more longs for today's bounce. I entered, I'm almost all, I mean 100% long right now, this market. Things are looking pretty promising. Matter of fact, if I show you the end of today, this is a one minute chart. Look at the rally we got right at the close. People could not get into the markets fast enough when the markets came to a close today. So that usually, usually bodes well for a nice open going into the next trading day. And that's what I foresee here. You'll see that we had this nice rally an expected correction, a fantastic bull pullback, and in the ones that said this is not a hammer because we don't have a shadow, a lower shadow two times that or more of the body, you're correct. The lower shadow isn't long enough to be considered a tactical hammer. Anyway, we've got a nice pop here, closing above all major moving averages. And looking for more upside potential, bouncing out the 50% Fibonacci retracement area. Get rid of those lines. So not looking too shabby. Get rid of this line, cleaning up a little bit. We got a little bit of resistance coming up at 1709 area. Something to watch for. I think we'll get there. And take a look here at the weekly chart. It's only Tuesday, but to show you here. We pulled back a little bit. We already have this hammer. It looks like it's wanting to go bullish again. Not too bad. And take a look here at gold, the bloodbath on the daily. So we have the symmetrical triangle. I had an order here to enter at 128 and a half. And we did not fill that. So that order did not happen. And luckily for me, things that get pinched, you get a pop where I drop. This one did have a drop. Look for a gap to fill, silver. Also dropped, ending with something close to a hammer on volume. Look for that gap to also fill. And for you Google nuts, um, nice close above all major moving averages. We were in a lot of trouble. We had this gap down run up. I almost bought Google on this type of pattern, specialist behavior pattern. And you do learn that in mentoring. It's a money maker. I just, I didn't take advantage of it. Unfortunately, Apple, nice bull pullback with the doji pop. Boom. A nice increase in volume. Looking nice. Facebook up 0.4 percent what's happening now is building a high base this is giving us a chance to enter this something over 52 bucks so be watching that microsoft up almost a full percent but here's the secret with microsoft gang we're now have a close above a resistance line if i go to a line chart you'll see resistance 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 we are now above that look for a lot of upside potential here on microsoft so uh, with with Apple and Google and Facebook and Microsoft all doing well, NASDAQ obviously is going to do well. And so look for a lot of upside potential there. And um, a little disclaimer here, I'm 
I'm in uh, I'm in Taser right now and this breakout got in at the end of the day it's a high base breakout but Taser wow it went down here from nine dollars I mean it's almost a hundred percent gain 80 75 percent gain in two months and hard telling with this sort of volume how high this thing's gonna go so I am playing that one and playing eight other stocks also all in our stock picks V newsletter um, Taser is not on there the others are so that's why I'm kind of featuring this one and thank you man a ton of people signing up for our stock picks V newsletter so much appreciated hope you are making a lot of money take care very safe trading to you share this with a friend hit like leave a comment do all that good stuff it's always appreciated and always read by me catch you later